Like we're guys, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're like literally taking a random these random dirt tracks to um go pagoda hunting. Very nice. I like it. Later, we finished hot air ballooning here in Bagan. We're just outside our hotel room and uh, we're just about to hire an e-bike. Second day here in Bagan. Definitely, definitely, uh, definitely, def definitely do the hot air ballooning if you ever come to Bagan. It's quite amazing. The views are spectacular. You will have to get up at 4.30 in the morning and we got picked up at 5.15 this morning and definitely worth every cent of it. Great experience. The balloon was jam-packed though, there was 12 of us in that basket, I swear. It was like a nightclub, that's how much room there was in that basket. It was shoulder to shoulder. But yeah, definitely a great experience, come check it out. Robs? It was awesome, you gotta do it guys. You gotta do it. Again. You gotta do it. Yeah. You gotta do it. You gotta do it, right? You gotta do it. That's right. <laughs> and again. You gotta do it. That's right. Oh, he's <laughs> casually. Oh. What a, oh. <laughs> All right, we'll edit that out of the video. I'm just kidding, we'll keep it in, we'll keep it in. <laughs> G'day world. We're in Myanmar on an e-bike. Just hired this little bike, 7,000 chats. It's seven Aussie dollars. And we're riding past these little pagodas. Check them out. Look at that. Robsy is on the back. There you go, Robs. Up. Hold the stick. I'm holding the stick. There we, go. There, okay. we go. Okay. there we go. There we go. This electric bike is really strange. It doesn't make any noise. And today, there are no side mirrors on this bike, <laughs> which is very frustrating. I, it's really. I have a motorbike back home, and uh, it's good to see what's behind you, but. I have no idea what's behind yeah, me. I'll be your back mirrors today. You're going to be my back mirrors? How's that? Yeah? Yeah. And by the way, we have no idea where we're going. We're just down this random dirt track. We're going to try and make it to Old Bagan. I think it's in the opposite direction, right? What? Is it? Is it really? <laughs> Is it? Well, I thought it was up. Just keep going. Oh, look. <laughs> All right, we have no idea where we're going. Oh, oh. no! Stop! Look at them. It's like a wildlife. It's like a wildlife safari. Look at them. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, look at them. Hi, puppies. Hi. Oh. That's cool. We are in the middle of nowhere. That is true. I'll just turn you around and show you the middle of nowhere. We don't even know where we're going. Hey, it's cruising around here, man. It's cruising around. Oh no. We're on some dirt track here. Oh, no, we're back to the south again. We're on some dirt track. In the sun. middle of. Here's the sun. Mine, Mark. Towards the sun, honey. 
Do you want a coconut? Yes. I'm ready for Hello, this. you want to go inside? Coconut. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay. He's got the biggest smile. Okay, so we're about to have a sugar cane juice. Yeah. Robsy has never had one before. It's the first time here in Bagan. Check this out. I love how they make these. Really, really cool. I've had them in Zanzibar. Uh oh. Some technical difficulties starting the engine. So they literally just get sugarcane stalks and they push it through and out comes the sugarcane juice. There's your sugarcane juice. Do you want ice? Yes, please. Oh, no, 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 no ice. Just plain. I'll take it with my camera. Yes, sir. There you go, Robs. All right, I want you to taste it. Oh, you want a photo first. You like it? All right, quick update for everybody watching. Uh, we're in old Bagan in Myanmar and we've just literally been cruising around in our e-bike just checking out the pagodas and things like that and we've literally just stumbled across I've never seen literally I've never seen so many puppets hanging from a tree check this out look at how many look at how many puppets there are there's Robsy what do you think Robsy a lot of puppets hey Look at them all. And then every now and again you'll see like a horse and carriage just go past like this. Robs and I, we're still at this puppet place. I must say I'm not into puppets personally, but I am impressed by just the sheer number of puppets that are hanging off the trees here. With umbrellas, like Japanese looking umbrellas. Um, but like the intricate detail of the puppets here and this is just on the side of the road here in Old Bagan and We've just found this swing. Rob's is sitting on this swing, which is a little bit of a running theme with Our journey where we met on the swings in in the Philippines in April this year. How are you? Oh, <laughs> How good is it? It's amazing. Is it like Boracay or what? <laughs> it's crazy. Did you see my unicorn? It's just called Escape. <laughs> you know what? And everywhere we go in the world, we see swings like this or some version of where we met. <laughs> And it's just a constant reminder of when we met. So in Myanmar, we've found a swing and this is it. And there's only enough room for one person. So, hey Robs. Hey. I might break it. <laughs> you always say that. It's always true. You always say that. It's always true. Like, pagodas everywhere. Look at them all. <laughs> that one's getting renovations. Take a photo of that. That's a cool little restaurant. Like, we're, guys, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're like, literally taking a random, these random dirt tracks to, um, go pagoda hunting really <laughs> going off the beaten track here guys what I love about this place is literally you can just be riding along and then all of a sudden out of nowhere seven pagodas show up like little you see the pointy tops first good afternoon everybody two o'clock in the afternoon we just finished at the 
restaurant, Royal Restaurant. Amazing food. We're just on the side of the road here and we just had stopped at one temple. We actually went to this temple yesterday. We walked inside, took our shoes off, walked inside and walked inside the temple, which is really, really amazing. This is the name of it. So maybe just write this one down. So if you've come here, definitely come and check out this temple. I'll just walk around the other side. Big red sign, can't miss it. Right there. And that's where the temple is. So drive up this driveway. And on the way out yesterday, I bought, actually bought some paintings for 15,000 MMK. So 15 Australian dollars, just to support the artist that was there yesterday um, selling her paintings. So yeah, but anyway, and literally just across the road, it's probably going to be very hard to see this. There's another temple that has scaffolding on it. We were there just a moment ago before we went to the Indian restaurant. Just there. Anyway, so we're now heading back to the old, what they call Old Bagan. So there's New Bagan and Old Bagan. So we're heading back to Old Bagan to go and check out some temples there. Look at this. <laughs> what? Of course. Oh, up there, we're going up there, Robs. Look. So this guy is taking us, the guy that we bought the umbrella from, is taking us to a pagoda where we can watch the sunset. Oh, look at that. Woo! All right, we're here. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Where are we going? Keep walking, Robs. Which colors? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're about to climb up a very steep staircase. Alright, so I'm using the flashlight on my phone. Oh, this is very narrow. <laughs> Robs. So we're climbing through a temple to get to the roof. Is there? I'm literally holding a phone and a camera and a second camera. Okay? Yeah. You can do it, Brandy. Okay. Take shoes off. Oh, we're here. And this is my son when morning sunrise. Oh yes. And this is the next one. We are sitting in Myanmar again. Again or again. <laughs> and we are sitting on the top of a temple, a pagoda. And we are watching the sunset. And it's absolutely spectacular. It's really beautiful. And once we finish this, once the sun goes down, we're going to go and grab a beer and some lovely local food from a restaurant we found when we saw the long-necked lady who was weaving the scarves, the scarf that I bought. So that's our plan. So right now, we are watching the sun go down. Mm -hmm. It's pretty special. It's uh, not a bad idea to actually find out the sunset time so you don't miss it. So it's about 20 past five now. Google said the sunset's about 5.30 and we've been here for about 30 minutes now. And literally in the last couple of minutes, um, about 10 people have showed up. So it's probably not a bad idea to get here early and secure a spot. So I'll quickly turn you around. This is what it looks like. All you can hear now are literally cameras. <laughs> That's it, gone. Boom. 
Ouais, pourquoi le